Hey, what's up guys? This is Zedu from Vice Media and in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can free sign so data in a list view from a local JSON file. I have prepared a simple JSON file with some information and we'll use a file for reading purpose. So let's start with the new project. So I'm using my D drive for tutorial. I'm going to use uh, git bash here for create a new project so after create read local JSON tutorial so it will take a few seconds to complete the tasks here uh, waiting to get the project so it's all done and okay let's close the git pass and open the folder and open it with the visual studio code This is our project and first of all let me create a asset folder for JSON file. So I already have copied the JSON file and now I am going to paste it here inside the asset folder. So let's check uh, this is a Employee.json file, simple JSON file which include uh, EMP name and department uh, with some of the values. So let's manage the pub spec.yml file for asset. So uh, I want to remove this comment and manage the tab and let's remove this asset file also. And the file name is emp record dot json. Okay, let's save it and that will run the package git command here. All right, we have exit code zero. That means the project is successfully completed here. And let's go to the library and open the main.dot file. In the main.dot file, I am going to remove unnecessary classes here, and the rest of the part is uh, useful for us. Let's remove this comment also. And here I am going to use the green color for primary swatch and for the home page I am using uh, JSON page all right so the project is analyzing that means it is not giving me any error here at the moment but it should give me some error so let's create a new file Organization page dot dart okay so still there is no error because it analyzing uh, we'll see the error later because we haven't import the JSON page here so let's create the import file for JSON import dart convert And the another one is input input package Flutter slash material dot dot and this one is the straightforward wicket and class name is JSON page. So we save it and import it into the main.dot file because the analyze have been complete and it's showing me error package and 
read local JSON tutorial and JSON page dot dart. So let's go to the JSON page dot dart and instead of container, I'm going to use scaffold here. In this scaffold, I'm using a bar and the app bar have a title which is text we get and let's name it load json file from local all right this is our title now i'm going to use the body here and inside the center we get I am going to use a child class which will call future builder future builder so it's a builder and have content the first parameter and the second parameter is snapshot So let's call a variable where so data which will fetch the data from our JSON file which is equals to JSON dot decode um, the source is a snapshot dot data to string. All right. So now let's return the value. Uh, I will use the list view. And let's make a builder list view dot builder. So it have item count and item builder. So let's use item count first. So data dot length and in the item builder. I'm going to use build content. and uh, not a method just remove this method and i'm going to use content so integer index so return list style yeah so in the list style we have option uh, for title and subtitle in the title let's use text we get which will show data having index of emp so the emp name and in the subtitle we can use text we get which is call from so data index and the index name is or key is tpt department okay so let's terminate it here and another list view terminate here so use the future here future uh, which is default asset, asset bundle uh, dot of context dot uh, load string let's use the load string which will have the key key is asset slash emp record dot json so that's all and we already have asset file here and the same name is here so we complete here we can 
test our code here so let's go to the start debugging option and choose the emulator my emulator is running here and i have some error code here let's remove it and let's save the code all right so we have some error that is uh, due to item count calling first so let's remove the item count after the item builder okay save it and let the hot reload to refresh the app that's why seems fine and let's check it again hot reload and it's working perfectly okay that's all for today we will see you in the next episode in the next episode we will fetch a the json data from our remote server and show it into the list view thank you guys have a nice day